So all you need is your band, your body, your mat, and a lying down position on your back. Well, I think my foot's on the bone. What's my regular start mark? My back? Is this going to be a stretch? Um, usually with band, it's kind of like blends into lots of stretching, yeah. So, 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 so your legs are down on the floor, your feet are wide to the corners of your mat. You get hold of those fingers, you interlace them, and you push your hands up towards the sky. And as you push your palms up, feel your shoulder blades parting. So imagine you're just kind of drawing your arms away from your shoulders, your shoulders away from the floor, and then pin them back down. Feel the back of your shoulders squeezing down to the ground. And then do that again. Lifting, take your breath out to hold the position. Holding there as you breathe in, and exhale, pull them back down. And then take your arms overhead, take a stretch. Now, I have a bit of a shoulder injury, so apologies if I have to change something myself. It's really painful. I have tried to take some I'm craving, probably helped. So just stretch the arms overhead, push the elbows straight, and then squeeze the belly, draw the spine into the floor. And then release your arms. Take your arms out wide into a T-shape. You're going to turn your left palm down towards the floor, and we're going to take our uh, left leg, sorry, up towards the sky, keeping that same position, and reach your right hand across as far up towards that foot as you can. Then lower it all the way down, same side. Lift the left leg, the right arm reaches, and you just release down. So we're just starting off with a little gentle crunch, oblique twist, and then focus on the stretch with the hamstring. So you're reaching the leg, keeping it as straight as possible, and then coming up. Do four more this side. When you've done your last one, just drop everything back down to the floor, and then you're going to simply swap over to the other side. So the right leg comes up, the left arm reaches, and all the way back down. It'll be one of those sessions, is it, where it's going to hurt? So just four more, keep it slow, control through your breath. Straighten that leg at the top. Twist and reach a little bit further. And when you've done your last one, drop the arms out wide. Lift those knees, keeping them apart so they're still quite wide. Wide tabletop position. And let them just gently float over to the right. Take our eye gaze to the left. When the bottom leg lands, the top leg also then drops down for a brief moment. Then the top leg lifts on its own. The bottom leg follows it. And we do the same. So the bottom leg drops first. Carefully the top leg drives down to the floor and you hold. Then you lift your top leg on its own and the bottom leg follows the motion. So you drop the leg slowly over. Top leg then drifts down, drops to the knee for a pause. Then the top leg lifts, and so on. Lovely little massage through the lower back. We're going to go one more on each side. Take your eye gaze the opposite way. And you, when you've done your last drop to one side, you then come back through to the middle. And you pause in the middle with that wide leg. And then just straighten those legs up. Turn the toes out and push those legs into extension. Nice little inner thigh and hamstring stretch there. Get the legs a little bit wider. Push the legs straight. Draw the lower belly in as if you're lifting your bottom off the floor, pulling your thighs towards you. And then bring the legs together. Point the toes to the ceiling and the left leg's going to drop down on its own. 
You can either brush the floor or just pause and then come all the way back up again and stop to the other side. We're going to do eight on each leg. So now we're really beginning to activate your abs a little bit more. Slow. What was that? Are we done yet? Four. Four. So she's doing a last. Couple of reps now. Bend those knees and then just give them a little hug in. Grab hold of the knees and just rock side to side. Okay, then pop the legs down onto the floor. Feet stay about hip width apart and the knees line up with those ankles. Grab your band and lift your band up above your shoulders. So if I end up dropping the band, it's because I just can't do it, okay? So we're going to roll the hips up into a bridge, opening those arms out to a C shape, closing, and dropping our bottoms down. So elevate the hips, big opening through the arms, bring them back above the shoulders, and drop the bottoms down. So you can take this to as much resistance as you like, but ideally, if your band touches your chest, you need to get more resistance and so bring the hands closer in. Don't extend your elbows. And let's get a little bit of heel lift. So on your next bridge, we lift, the heels come up, the heels drop, the bottom drops. Two, four more of these. See if you can pull your knees a little bit closer and let's get those hips another inch higher. Squeeze into the butts. We hold the last one up in the air. So big lift. Up onto those heels, arms open out, then pull them in a couple of inches and just pulse press the arms, squeezing your butt cheeks to get as much elevation through the hips as possible. Eight, seven, six, five, lift your hips, two, and then drop your heels, lower your bottom to the floor. Take your arms back behind and rest your arms flat to the ground. breath, bend the elbows, you go to like a, more of a cactus position, and then lift those knees up to tabletop. Now we're going to take the knees over to the right, not too far, just so you're on the right butt cheek, and you're going to kick your legs away from you forward, bend the knees back in, and then bring yourself through centre over onto the left butt cheek, and extend the legs forward. Now you've got to keep your arms Press to the floor the whole time. If they come away from the ground, you take your legs too far over. So just rock to one side, extend those legs. Abs fixed on. Let's see if we can get a little bit more extension of the legs a little bit lower towards the floor. And we're going to four more. Yeah. 
float those legs back to the center and pop them back down into the ground. Left leg comes up to the sky. You take the back around the ball of the foot and you lengthen the leg high. So whilst you're here, just enjoy a little bit of a half-spin stretch. So put your left hip bone down into the ground so your buttocks fix the floor. Make sure your coccyx is grounded. Once that's there, you've got that stability in your hips. You can drive the thigh towards you, extending through the knee to make the stretch a little bit deeper. Move that foot so that it sits above your right hip bone. Then turn the toes inwards from the hips and then draw the toes down towards your right shoulder. Lengthening out through the knee. Nice and round clean stretch. So your left bottom is slightly off the ground. So make sure you pull it over a little bit more to the right. The whole leg, the whole buttock. And extend that knee. Float it back through the middle. Take the band with your left hand. Bend the knee slightly out to the back corner of the room. Get your left arm inside that leg. So now my knee's bent. I've got my arm inside that leg. Give yourself a little bit more band. Perhaps hold you onto the right hand as well. And straighten that leg behind you. So it's not going all the way to the floor. It's kicking back behind you. And then straighten the knee as much as it can go. Push it straight, 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 straight. Give it enough band to go straight. That's it. Take it in towards your left shoulder. And the right knee can fall out to the side. And use your bicep to draw the toes in towards you. Get a strong stretch, nasty, nasty stretch. Make it nasty. 10 seconds more. And then bring it back to center. Taking that right knee so it's pointing towards the sky. Grab the band with both hands, walk down the band a little bit so you're slightly wider in the arm. Take your right leg flat to the floor, lift your head, lift your shoulders, and begin a little pumping motion for the arm. Now the pumping motion activates your app. Your right leg needs to be dead straight, and then hover your right leg off the floor. Then curl up and pump the arms a little bit more. So you can lose the band. Keep the band on and keep quite a light resistance. Now lift your chest, squeeze your lower belly. Lengthen that leg. If it gets too much, you can drop your head, carry on the path, so you can drop your leg, do whatever. Keep up in eight. Arm stay straight, guys. Arm straight, arm straight, arm straight. Lift your chest. Five, four, three. Two arms straight and release your head and shoulders. Walk up that band back to that foot and deep parallel hamstring stretch. Right leg presses deep into the ground, left knee dead straight. Now, with the band, there's no excuse not to have a straight knee. Really push it straight. Once it's there, then use your arm to drive the thigh in towards you. Go deeper. Take the band in your right hand, open your left arm out wide, slide your right leg so your foot's on the floor. Let's go for spinal rotation all the way over to the right. Don't let your foot hit the floor, so leave it at about hip height and then straighten the knee and twist and open that left shoulder. Pull the toes up towards your right shoulder, extend the knee. Breathe into the whole left side of your body. So you're trying to get the left shoulder blade pressed to the ground. Two more breaths. And then bring that leg when you're ready up towards the sky. Rolling the right knee back in. Copy the, the band off the foot and dropping the foot down to the ground. And the soles of the feet come together, the knees fall apart. Little rocking sensation side to side, the band to the side for now. 
Take your arms close in towards you, shoulder blades squeeze under, and let's lift our hips up into the bridge. And then little squeeze pulses in the hips. So squeeze your butt, lift the hips, and breathe in. So all the weight's going into the outer edges of your feet. Just keep pressing. Now I feel pressing up in there. Ten more. Slowly. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Squeeze up a little bit more. Last two. And then slowly drop your bottom down. Bring the knees together. Good. Slide your left ankle on top of your right knee. Our head's going to stay flat to the ground. Arms a little bit wider. Engage lower abs. Lift your knee in towards you. Now, this right foot is going to tap slightly out to the side, back into the middle, and float it over to the other side and tap it down, but with complete control. So pull in. Push away to one side, pull in, push away to one side. Now, if you don't like this at all with the ankle over the knee, then just simply take the knee together and then do it with both the legs stacked. Okay, it's just less challenging. The ankle over the knee obviously acts as a weight. So it makes it harder. And also to tighten those hips, it's harder in that way. So it's a good mobilization exercise. Right, six more taps. Use your tummy muscles. Pin your arms to the ground. Take your arms a little bit wider. You'll get a little bit more movement. When you've done your last one, pull those knees into the middle, extend that right leg to the sky, squeeze your belly and pull the thighs in towards you. Use your tummy muscles if you're lifting your buttocks off the ground. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And then take hold of that leg, catch the right thigh, drop the heel into the bottom and stretch the left buttock. Tiny bit more weight over into the right side. Shoulders down to the ground and left knee pushes away. Stay here for 30 seconds, just opening out that left buttock. Go in a little bit deeper. Then pop your right foot back, arms down by your side, tuck your shoulder blades under, and lift your hips up. Now, this left leg is then going to slide up towards the sky. You're going to draw that left leg down so it comes to that level with your right thigh. Point the toe, lift the leg back up for one. Dorsiflex the foot, drop it down, thigh high, point the toe, lift it up for two. Down, point the toe, lift it up for three. If this is too much for you, then keep the knee bent, tap the toe to the ground and lift the thigh in, tap the toe to the ground and lift the thigh in. Go, two more. And then lift that leg all the way up to the sky. Lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it, squeeze your right butt cheek. And then carefully pop the ankle back over that knee. Take a breath in with the hips and exhale, drop your bottom down to the ground. Taking your arms a little bit wider, just drop the legs over to the right. Push your right hand onto that knee, just open out the knee. Then roll through the middle and drop your knees to the other side. So now you stretch out that right thigh, hip, 
maybe across the abdomen, maybe your lower back. Use your left foot to push the thigh down. And then bring everything back into the middle. Pop the feet down. Extend your legs down onto the floor. Ooh, got one key. Check this out from your mat. You may think you are, you're not like me, but you will think you all are. Take your feet wide. Interlace the fingers. Keep your palms facing down towards you this time. Squeeze the fingers and lift your arms. Pull the shoulder blades apart again. Take a breath in, exhale, slide them back down, pin them to the ground. Do that again. Lift up. And then pin them back down. Then turn the palms away towards the sky and stretch overhead again. Just reach away. And as you do that, you'll feel rib cages popping up. So squeeze the belly and close the spine into the floor. Release the fingers, take the arms wide. Turn your left hand down. Right leg, sorry, right arm, left leg, reach up. See if you can go further. So I've now lifted up onto my elbow, going much, much further, and then dropping down, straight back up again. So use that leverage on one side. Two, a little bit faster. Three, four, five. Five more left this side. Three, one, two for me. And then drop down, take your right palm down. Left arm a little bit higher. And the other side, now you're gonna lift you up onto my right forearm to lift and twist a little bit more. Far no left. Last two. One. And drop it down. Take a little breather. Lift both your knees up, keeping them wide. Stretch them back up to the sky. Toes down, heels away, turn the toes out. Stretch them out a little bit wider this time. Get into those inner thighs. If you wish, you can slide your hands in the inner thigh. Grab hold of your leg and stretch them that way, inside. And then dry the legs back into the center. Take those arms wide again. Our right leg drops over halfway to the left. Our left leg goes to join it. Abs on. Then both legs come up to center together. Left leg drops over halfway. Right leg joins it. And both come together to the center. Now that's too much. Go back to what we did earlier. Now legs is wide. Now legs are wide. Drop one leg. And the other one pops back down. And then it lifts back up to center. And you repeat the other side. Do this one slow. It's the isolation that really builds that strength in the abs. So when those legs join halfway, feel your obliques really kicking in to control that movement. Oops. Back up. Reduce the range. It feels a bit too much. Do whatever you need to do. Right, we're going to go two more each side. So just four more to do. Okay. 
And into that last one, you can hug your knees. Little roll around, just whatever you need to do. Just look at the bottom of your lower back, quite nice. And then pop your feet down to the ground. Grab your band. So the left leg stays where it is. Put the band around the right foot. And simply stretch it up to the sky. Start with a nice hamstring stretch. So again, you can walk up the band quite far. You get better, um, it's easier to stretch when your left leg is best. So get a nice extension in the knee, turn the ball down, put your band on the ball of the foot, and then drive the side towards you without lifting your buttons off the ground. So that's kind of where you're at. Take the band in your left hand, move the heel so it sits above your left hip bone. So now my right bottom is off the floor, and then immediately rotate, have the toes in from the hip and extend the knee and drive the toes down towards your left shoulder. Just for that lovely, but yet nasty stretch. Again, yeah. think about maybe it may be an inch or two further over. And then drive the toes further towards your left shoulder. And then we begin to loosen it off. Bend the knee out to the right. Take your right hand, wedge it inside your right thigh. I'm going to keep hold of the band with my left hand as well. And then we're aiming to take that leg behind us and opening it out, letting the left knee fall out to the left. So we're working on inner thigh, hamstring, toes still pulling in towards your right shoulder. Feel your arms using quite a lot of power to hold that leg in place. So if you pull your toes in towards you a little bit more, pull that leg further in towards your right shoulder a little bit more. And then carefully just begin to move the leg back into the middle. At the same time, your left knee comes back in. Slide the left leg down to the floor and stretch that leg. So now we're going parallel stretch, holding the band in both hands. As you extend your right knee, you're also extending your left knee. So both legs are equally working together. And see if you get that thigh further in towards you. We begin to slide our hands down the mat, taking them wide. Straight elbows, okay? Straight elbows. Lift your head, lift your chest. Pull that band down so it's outside your hip and start pumping your arm. Squeeze the belly and lift that left leg to a hover. And like I said, if it gets too much, drop the head. If you can keep that left leg hovered, that's great. Come on, lift that left leg off the floor. Toes in, now straighten, now squeeze the belly and lift the chest and pump. Eight more seconds, straight to arm mark. Six, five, four, right side further in. Two, and one. Drop the leg, drop the head. Begin to soften out a little bit into that right knee. Slide your left knee to a bent position and pop your right ankle over the left knee and move the back. Okay, just take a breath here. So instead of using the app up the back, so our arms are relaxed down by our side, tuck the um, shoulder blades under, and we're going to lift. Our hips up into a bridge. Opening the knee out, squeezing the left butt. Take that right leg up to the sky. And then we drop it down so it lines up a uh, mark with the um, windmill bridge. So lift up, dorsal flex the foot, drop it down, point the toe, lift up. And if you don't like this, sit with a bend knee, just tap the ground with the foot. And lift it back. So that's your easier option. 
Come on, squeeze that left butt cheek, get as much elevation as you can. Straighten your right leg, pull it up as much as you can. Two more. Last one, lift all the way up to the sky, hold, push your foot to the ceiling, and then pop the ankle on the knee, lift the hips one more time, and drop your bottom to the front of the neck. Take a couple of breaths, lift the left thigh in, catch around the back of the thigh, let's stretch that right buttock. Ooh. Take a little bit more weight to the left side, open the right knee, and use quite a lot of that arm strength to get into the buttock stretch. So it's just a stretch we tend to hold for quite some time. So use your breath, you'll be doing a bit more. Now have a look at your left knee, make sure it hasn't drifted. Well, can you stretch the right side? The right, right buttock for stretching. <laughs> yeah. Right, Mark can stay there a little bit longer. So make sure that your left knee is not drifting into the middle, push it over to the left a little bit more. And let's go one more time into the stretch, go deeper. And then when you're ready, just drop the left foot down to the floor. Arms come down by your side, take a little bit wider so not too close in. As the gauge again, we're going to lift the left knee in and we're going to float over and tap down to one side and then pull that left knee back in, float over to the left buttock and tap over to the other side. So you can make it as hard or as easy as you like. You want to make it hard, you can extend that left leg, drive it in the middle and extend it again. And again, that's not for you, stack the knees and just do this with one leg onto the other. I'm going to do eight more tucks. Last two. When you've done your last one, just float the legs back to the middle, pop your foot to the floor, and we're going to let those knees come over to the left. Left hand pushes the knee to the sky, and just do a little mobilization through the hip area. And then bring the legs back through the center and drop the knees over to the right. So the right foot pushing that thigh down to the floor, and you're feeling that lovely stretch to the left hip, thigh, maybe your ab or lower back area. And then carefully bring your legs back, get into the middle. Grab your bands for the last time. Put them around both balls of your feet. So tuck the knees in. Straighten your legs to the sky. So that your bands are equal. Use this opportunity to take a deep stretch of both hamstrings together. So you bend the arm. Drive the thighs in, but push your bottom down. Straighten the knees. Now we're going to finish off with some more oblique twists, working through the arm. I'm going to keep my band on the left foot. My right leg is going to drop to the floor. 
And then the left leg, which is way about halfway, we lift the chin to the chest. We roll up and we turn to the left. We drop down. We come back up. We turn to the left. We drop back down. So our right arm just stays fairly still. Weave that shoulder blade as you rotate. Seven, going for ten. Eight. Nine. Right, let's do the last one together. We come up, we turn, and we press that five times. Five, rotate, four, three. Come on, big squeeze to that shoulder blade. Your left leg is dead straight. Don't move it. And then back to the middle. Roll it down. Lift your right foot up, join your left. Hamstring stretch both legs. Stretch the knees, bottom down. Left foot down. Drop the leg, the right leg halfway down. Lift your chin to check. Let's go the other side. And turn. Good. Five more. Really enjoy that rolling through the spine. Okay, so that last one we come up together, we roll up, we turn and we press. Five, keep your right leg still, press through that rotation of shoulder blades and let the leg move. Three, two, and one. Roll it out. Leg up, left leg back up for the last time. Join it. We'll cut that band and make that stretch dead strong. But this time, lift your bottom off the ground, bending the knees very slightly. So I've now taken my clock sticks on my first one, maybe two vertebrae off the floor. Straighten your legs completely. And then keeping your arm dead still, try and push your bottom into the floor. The bad is like about to break my <laughs> <laughs> well, And then inhale, bend the knees into your chest. Just keeping the band where it is, put the elbows to the floor. And then use that band to roll yourselves up. Release it. Bring the soles of your feet together. So earlier on, we did a little lying down the back, rocking motion with the knees. Lift up tall and just do some gentle movements up and down just to open out through the hips, the inner thighs. Lift your chest, shoulder blades pulled back. And then pivot forward as far as you can go without bending the spine. And then curl your spine and just drop down towards your feet. Relaxing through the shoulders. Chin to your chest. And just feel that spine naturally curving. Then carefully just roll up, look up. Take your foot position more into a comfortable place, legs out or cross legged, bring your fingertips behind you, and then just lift up tall. Let your arms just float, let your shoulders relax, and just take a lovely little circle up above the head. Just gently bring your hands together, and as always, we give ourselves a bow and a clap that just flown today for some reason, but 
it must be that I was having so much fun. 